The long buckle nerve is the next one. Now the book recommends switching to a, a short needle for that. Um, I find that wasteful and um, also the more you change needles the more difficulty you have or the more chances you have of um, having a needle stick injury. So I just use my long needle that's already there and I'm already in the vicinity so I just come over to this side. The landmarks for the lung buckle are the most distal mandibular molar and the anterior border of the ramus of the mandible which is right here. This is your landmark right there. The anterior, the most anterior portion and the most distal molar. So you go in the vestibule vestibule, distal and buccal to the most distal molar in the quadrant at the height of the occlusal plane. So you want to be parallel to the occlusal plane and you want to go into the most lateral and the most distal portion and deposit your anesthetic there. The depth of penetration is one to four millimeters you can use the same needle from the IA block or a short needle if there was no IA block given. And you want to deposit about one eighth to one fourth of a cartridge.